Hey Sprouts! Today we are learning about animals and their habitats. Habitats are the natural home or environment of an animal, plant, or other organism. Let's help these animals find their homes. Where does the snake live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the snake lives in the forest. Where does the octopus live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the octopus lives in the ocean. Where does the tiger live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the tiger lives in the forest. Where does the crab live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the crab lives in the ocean. Where does the parrot live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the parrot lives in the forest. Where does the sloth live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the sloth lives in the forest. Where does the seahorse live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the seahorse lives in the ocean. Where does the hummingbird live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the hummingbird lives in the forest. Where does the stingray live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the stingray lives in the ocean. Where does the puffer fish live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the pufferfish lives in the ocean. Hooray! You helped all the animals find their homes. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Let's count to ten. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, Sprouts. Let's count faster this time. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, Sprouts. Let's say it again, but even faster this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Well done, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Today, we're taking a trip across the oceans. Around 71% of the Earth is covered in water. The major body of water is the ocean. The ocean is divided up into five major oceans. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. Let's learn more about the five oceans of the world. The Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean and it covers around one third of the Earth's surface. It separates Asia and Australia from North and South America. The Pacific Ocean got its name from the explorer Ferdinand Magellan. He called it the Mar Pacifico, which means peaceful sea in Portuguese. The Mariana Trench is the deepest place in the world at 35,797 feet under the Pacific Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is the world's second largest ocean. It separates Europe and Africa from North and South America. The Atlantic Ocean is about half the size of the Pacific Ocean and covers about 20% of the Earth's surface. 
Many years ago, some people thought the Earth was flat and that ships would just fall off the Earth somewhere out in the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean gets its name from the Greeks who called it the Sea of Atlas. The Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is the third largest ocean in the world and covers 20% of the Earth's surface. It lies south of Asia and India and separates East Africa from Australia. The Indian Ocean is also the warmest ocean in the world. The range of temperature for the Indian Ocean is between 66 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. The Southern Ocean. The Southern Ocean is also called the Antarctic Ocean, South Polar Ocean, or Austral Ocean. It is located at the South Pole. The Southern Ocean is the fourth largest or second smallest of the oceans. It covers only 6% of the Earth's surface. The Southern Ocean is the youngest ocean because it was formed only 30 million years ago when South America and Antarctica moved apart. The Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean is located at the North Pole near Europe, Asia, and North America. It is the smallest and shallowest of the world's oceans. It covers less than 3% of the Earth's surface. The Arctic Ocean gets its name from the word Arctos, which means bear in Greek. The Arctic Ocean is also the coldest ocean on Earth. For most of the year, the Arctic Ocean is covered in ice. Hooray! That was a fun trip. We learned everything about the world's oceans. What oceans have you seen? Hey, Sprouts. Let's say our ABCs. A B C D E F G H I J K L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Great job, Sprouts. Let's say our ABCs again, but faster this time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Awesome, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Let's say the animal alphabet. A is for alpaca. A, A, alpaca. B is for bear. B, B, bear. C is for cow. K, K, cow. D is for dog. D, d, dog. E is for elephant. Eh, eh, elephant. F is for frog. F, f, frog. G is for giraffe. J, j, giraffe. H is for horse. <gasps> horse. I is for iguana. I, I, iguana. J is for jellyfish. J, j, jellyfish. K is for koala. K, k koala. L is for lion. L, L, lion. M is for monkey. M, mm, M, mm, monkey. N is for narwhal. 
Mm. Mm. Narwhal. O is for owl. Uh, uh, owl. P is for penguin. Penguin. Q is for quail. Quail. R is for raccoon. R, r, raccoon. S is for seagull. S, s, seagull. T is for turtle. For unicorn. Yeah, yeah. Unicorn. V is for vulture. V, v, vulture. W is for whale. W, w, whale. X is for X ray fish. X, X, X ray fish. Y is for yak. Yeah, yeah, yak. Z is for zebra. Z, z, zebra. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Today we are counting farm animals. Let's count and see how many there are. How many cows do you see? There are four cows. How many dogs do you see? There are five dogs. How many ducks do you see? There are two ducks. How many rabbits do you see? There are seven rabbits. How many pigs do you see? There are six pigs. How many sheep do you see? Sheep. How many chickens do you see? There are three chickens. How many cats do you see? There are nine cats. How many goats do you see? There is one goat. How many horses do you see? There are eight horses. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Today we are learning about animals and their habitats. Habitats are the natural home or environment of an animal, plant, or other organism. Let's help these animals find their homes. Where does the crocodile live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the crocodile lives in the savanna. Where does the narwhal live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the narwhal lives in the Arctic. Where does the zebra live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the zebra lives in the savanna. Where does the polar bear live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the polar bear lives in the Arctic. Where does the flamingo live? 
in the Arctic or in the savannah. Yes, the flamingo lives in the savannah. Where does the penguin live? In the Arctic or in the savannah? Yes, the penguin lives in the Arctic. Where does the snowy owl live? In the Arctic or in the savannah? Yes, the snowy owl lives in the Arctic. Where does the walrus live? In the Arctic or in the savannah? Yes, the walrus lives in the Arctic. Where does the cheetah live? In the Arctic or in the savannah? Yes, the cheetah lives in the savannah. Where does the giraffe live? In the Arctic or in the savannah? Yes, the giraffe lives in the savannah. Hooray! You helped all the animals find their homes. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Let's see our ABCs. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Good job Sprouts! Let's say it again! And faster this time! A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Good job Sprouts! See you next time! Hey Sprouts, let's play a game and find the colors in each room. Can you find all the red objects? Good job Sprouts, you found all the red objects. Can you find all the orange objects? Good job, Sprouts. You found all the orange objects. Can you find all the yellow objects? Good job, Sprouts. You found all the yellow objects. Can you find all the green objects? Good job, Sprouts. You found all the green objects. Can you find all the blue objects? Good job, Sprouts. You found all the blue objects. Can you find all the purple objects? Good job, Sprouts. You found all the purple objects. Good job, Sprouts. That was so much fun. You found all the colors. You're good at finding things. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Today we're learning about the planets in our solar system. 
Let's start with the sun. The sun is a star that is made up of hot gases. It is the most important source of energy for life on Earth. The light of daylight comes from our sun. When we look in the night sky, we see lots and lots of dots of light. Every one of them is a star, just like our sun. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and is the smallest planet in our solar system. Mercury doesn't have any moons or rings. Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun, and it is the hottest planet in our solar system. The temperature on Venus can reach 880 degrees Fahrenheit. Earth. That's where we live. Earth is the third planet from the sun, and is the only known planet to support life. Earth is the only planet that we know of that has bodies of liquid water on its surface. Seventy-one percent of our planet is covered with water. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun, and it's also known as the red planet because of its reddish look. During the day on Mars, the sky is pinkish red, and the sunset is blue. Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet out from the sun, and is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter's nickname is the gas giant because it's primarily made up of gases. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun, and the second largest in our solar system. Saturn is best known for its fabulous ring system. Saturn also has more moons than any other planet, with 82. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. Uranus is so far away that you need a telescope to see it. Uranus is the coldest planet in our solar system. Temperature on Uranus can reach negative 371 degrees Fahrenheit. Uranus is often called the ice giant. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth and furthest planet from the sun. Neptune's days are very short. One day takes 16 hours. This is because Neptune is not solid, but a gas planet like Jupiter. That was so cool, Sprouts. We have some awesome planets in our solar system. What's your favorite planet in our solar system? Hey sprouts, let's count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, sprouts. Let's count faster this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, Sprouts. Let's say it again, but even faster this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Today we're counting school supplies. Let's count and see how many there are. How many pencils do you see? There are six pencils. How many globes do you see? There are five globes. How many backpacks do you see? There are two backpacks. How many chalkboards do you see? There is one chalkboard. How many books do you see? There are four books. How many microscopes do you see? 
are three microscopes. How many graduation caps do you see? There are ten graduation caps. How many calculators do you see? There are nine calculators. How many scissors do you see? There are seven scissors. How many paint brushes and palettes do you see? There are eight paint brushes and palettes. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Today we're learning about shapes. Square. Rectangle. Circle, triangle, pentagon, star, diamond, crescent, trapezoid, oval, hexagon, heptagon, parallelogram, Hey Sprouts, let's look at all 50 states in the United States of America. Delaware. Pennsylvania. Georgia. New Jersey. Connecticut. Massachusetts. Maryland. South Carolina. New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Texas, Iowa, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, 
South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, and Hawaii. Good job, Sprouts. That's all the 50 states in the USA. What states have you been to?